What's going on guys, my name is Easy. Today I'm gonna show you three basic things on how to avoid having input lag and dropped frames. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna avoid using this thing called display capture. This thing is like an abomination for input lag and dropping frames. Never use this for uh, gameplay, uh, for gameplay and when you're capturing full screen stuff. What you're gonna have to use that of display capture is called game capture. And uh, when you're using game capture, go to properties, go to mode and uh, automatically is going to be set to auto or capture any full screen application what you're going to have to choose is capture specific window okay so you're going to do that and then here on the window option you're going to select your game that you're trying to capture just go for fortnite in this case and call it done um yeah so this is it and the next thing on, on avoiding input lag is like you see like this uh, this window up here when you see where you see everything that you're capturing right so when you're all set and done you got your layers in you have everything that you need like your webcam your alert boxes your whatnot you know like everything on this sources list right what you're gonna have to do when you click go live just click your right mouse button go down to performance mode click that and it's gonna this is like such a key thing when you have this on your second monitor you don't have to see what's capturing because if you set it up properly in the beginning before you started streaming you don't need to change anything else but if you need to change anything else you're probably not playing just click back on like click on this button right here disable performance mode and this is it you can still like see what you're trying to change and whatnot right yeah so this is it these are the three key things on avoiding fps drops and input lag okay so the next thing I'm going to show you is my settings for streaming. If you're a viewer of mine, you can see that I'm never dropping frames. I'm never skipping them. I don't have any artifacts. Artifacts are those like square pixelated, like, you know, not a clear vision of what you're trying to see in the gameplay. First thing you're going to go to is out output. Set the output mode to advanced audio. Keep the audio track on one. The encoder, like i have it on hardware and vank new because fortnite is such such a badly optimized game and it uses mostly only your cpu and your ram i have a decent enough cpu so like my cpu is running in like 85 90 i don't know how much for only playing the game so that's why i'm using like nvank because my gpu isn't doing anything i'm using a 1060 6 gigabyte gtx and the cpu is a i5 8700k it's a decent cpu i overclocked it to 4.9 gigahertz and it's still not good enough for me to stream and play the game at the same time so hopefully you can see where i'm coming from try and pick and choose if you have a good enough cpu then yeah it's better still on cpu because the quality is a bit better if you're trying to avoid and have like better fps in game stuff like that just use hardware and vank new okay so i recently started streaming on youtube and i use 9k bitrate I have a good enough internet picture on my stream is so better than on uh twitch this keyframe interval just keep it at zero profile have it on high cycle visual tonic keep it on gpu zero max b frames two and the next thing you're gonna go on to is video as you can see i'm streaming on 920 by 1080 I don't scale it down or whatnot because that usually just makes the process a bit harder. If you're going to stream at 720p or 800, 810, something like that, just keep base canvas same as the scaled resolution. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm streaming at 60 FPS. This you can keep, keep the same. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't make a big difference. Common FPS value. Yeah, just keep, keep it on that. And the next thing you're going to go to is advanced. So the general process priority should be on high. Don't keep it on idle or normal, above normal, whatever. Just keep it on high so like the PC knows that Dreamlab needs to work at the best performance the PC could give it. The next thing is you can just keep it the way it is. Yeah, so hopefully you can drop a thumbs up on it, subscribe to the channel, click the no notification bell, share it with your friends and family. And uh, don't forget, I'm probably live right now because I'm streaming every day, two streams, one in the afternoon and one in the evening. So swing by and say what's up. If this helped, message me that you're from this video. And peace out, man. It's been easy. See ya, boys.